What's going on guys, Blue Monsoon here, and yes, I know I was going to challenge Phil, but I kind of came up with this idea. Uh, I kind of like just what I'm going to do is a little battle off. I'm going to do this video today, uh, which I'll get into in a minute, obviously, um, but I'm going to do challenge field on a Friday or a Saturday to see which one sort of gets the most views, you guys enjoy more, uh, and from then I'll do whichever one of those is better. But for today's video, um, we're going to sort of be starting a uh, new series called Deadliest Weapon. I might change the name. Um, but for the most part, deadliest weapon it will be. Um, but for the first, uh, try to get this right now. For the first video, we have the L85A2 versus the CZ805. Um, the way you unlock these guns is the L85A2. You have to have China Rising, and I'm not fully sure on the um, assignments. Unfortunately, I should have wrote them down. But all you have to do is go and lock on battle log, uh, and the CZ805 is the last assault rifle you unlock. Uh, but these guns are pretty similar. Um, I'll start off by talking about the um, L85, and then I'll get on to the CZ805. Uh, now the L85 is originally a British gun made for the British military. Anytime you see a British soldier, he will be having, he will have this gun. Or he will have the LMG version, which is called the L85A3, which is obviously bigger. The first version of this was the L85A1, um, which obviously isn't as high tech because this gun has had an upgrade since Battlefield 3, which it was also in, um, and it looks a lot cooler. I think uh, one of the things I like about this gun is it sounds stupid, but it's just the way he holds it. He holds it really low down, um, but you can still see. The um, I'm not sure what to call that. I'm not gonna expect you know. Sort of, I hate to say charging handle, but I'm gonna have to say that. Um, and I love the way you reload it as well. And it's a really good gun. Uh, it does a maximum of 25 to 18 damage, which is the standard thing for an assault rifle. No assault rifle goes over that, or uh, I don't think there's any end of that. Well, in fact, one goes over. That's a Scar H. Um, the recoil pattern is a 0.43 up, meaning. Not very much at all. It's quite a bit. You're gonna probably have to burst fire as you'll see in this video. Um, 0.25 to the left and 0.25 to the right. Both of those, they're quite high for left and right. Usually left and right are quite low. Um, but apart from that, it's perfectly fine. Uh, it's really controllable. The mag size for this is 30, and to be fair honest, it's standard with a lot of guns. Um, no real difference. The range I recommend is mid range. You can just about reach long range. It's not really kitted out for short range. Just here I have the ACOG sight on it just to try this out a go. Just to give this a go. It's good, but you really have to think about using it. Um, the fire modes are fully automatic, uh, burst, and um, semi automatic, which you'll see me use in a minute. Um, but to be honest, when using this gun, I think the best tips I can give you is to stay away from the enemy. That should be the first thing on your mind, to stay away from the enemy. Because um, a lot of the time they will be trying to kill you while you're trying to kill them. And with this gun, the best chance you have is by staying away from them. If you're getting close and try to defeat them in a close range battle, you're not going to do it. It just isn't kitted out for that. Although it does have 800 rounds per minute, so you might have a chance, but it's more kitted out for mid-range. Um, and the second gunner we have is the CZ805, which was originally made in Czech Republic. I'd hate to see that if I'm wrong. Um, CZ stands for somewhere at the moment, I can't think of it. I know it's Czech something, but I can't remember where. Uh, I should, again, I should have wrote it down. If I do this again, I'll do more research and I'll do better. Uh, but the way to fire this one is 100 rounds slower. It's only 700 rounds per minute, which is still good. Um, it's not slow. It's not one of the slowest in the game, but it's not fast. You will easily be beaten out. Um, again, the damage is a standard 25 to 18. No change there. Now, the recoil. This is where the gun gets odd. Um, the upwards recoil is 0.29, it's quite low. Uh, the last one the, for the L85A2 was 0.43, so it's quite low. It's um, just about 10 off, really. I guess you can say it's actually 14 off, uh, 29, 43. So it's quite a bit lower, and it seriously is in the game. Uh, the left recoil is 0.05. And the shocking thing about this 
the right recoil is 0 0.35 and that's that's high <laughs> uh, especially for a right recoil and especially seeing as it's different from the left one if you look here you can actually see how that is true the gun is very much kicking to the right um, and it's not really going where it should go um, it sort of kicks like right all the time um, but the mag again is only a 30 round um, that's always standard, pretty much any assault rifle is going to have 30 rounds in it. And the range is medium. The fire modes, unfortunately, are slightly limited. You get semi-automatic and fully automatic, although it is fully automatic already. Um, personally, out of these two, my favourite's the CZ805. Um, I think it's worse statistically, if you think about it, because um, well, the recoil up is lower. Uh, that's the first thing. The recoil left is lower, but the recoil right is more difficult. Although, though the L85 is easier to use, I don't think it's better. Uh, and if you, if you seriously look at all the stats, the CZ805 should lose out in every single one apart from recoil, because uh, the slower rounds per minute doesn't have burst fire. Um, it is slightly shorter distance um, because the recoil kicks so much to the right, while the um, L85 just kicks straight up, so it's kind of easy to recenter it. Um, but I still think it's good, and the best thing the um, CZ8, um, CZ805 is best for is sort of it's, it's hard to it's exactly describe it. So only really the only way you can put it is overall, it's a, the best overall gun I think. Because uh, just the ACV took out two guys in close quarters to it pretty quickly. I know one guy was low down on health, I'm pretty sure there was as well. But you know, it's it's good in close range, it has a nice hip fire. Just here, you can't really see it because the game's glitched out. Uh, but it's a nice tight hip fire spread. It um, doesn't kick an awful lot. The recoil is very controllable, and you can obviously put attachments on it, making it even lower. Um, the damage is substandard it will kill somebody in four shots at the uh, closest range and it will kill them and I believe six or five five or six even uh, at a long range I think that's correct <laughs> again I should have added that in my hair but I can't I'm that bad at maths <laughs> but uh, yeah I think the CZ805 is good the L85 A2 is still really good but I just love the CZ805 and the way it looks as well it sounds really stupid to me but it has this sort of unfinished gun look. Um, you know, like, they just went, you hey guys, how about we build a really sturdy gun and then give it a really cool casing, and they sort of went, nah, this is built like a box, <laughs> and he's built it like a box. Well, like, just say, this is the best tactic to stay away from tanks, just run as close as you can towards them. Might be stupid sometimes, but it works most of the time. But, you know, it seems like they just went, hey guys, let's just make a, a, a box, you know, let's make the box gun. And I kind of think it looks good. I like as it is. Um, the one disadvantage of the CZ-805 is you will be easily beaten out by most submachine guns and a lot of the other assault rifles, um, as you're about to see in a minute. Uh, but anyway, guys, this is all I have for today. Um, if you would like to see this series more instead of Challenge Field, um, then just leave a comment down in the description and like the video. Or if you don't want to do that now, you can wait until tomorrow's video and then do it on the Challenge Field video, not tomorrow's, I mean Friday's video, and do it on the Challenge Field one, and then I'll be doing it, um, because I'm not sure which one's better. Um, but that's all I have for today, guys. Thanks for watching. My name's Blue Monsoon, and I'll see you next time, guys. Blue Monsoon out.